Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your daily vibes for Sunday, June 24th. Just want to let you know I will get my uh, desk back to being set up when I'm done with the six month forecasts because they're so big I have to have this open space. So just bear with me while I'm doing that. This is the daily energy for all signs. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid so this may not happen today. And this reading may not be for you, so I feel like there's a lot of people that don't understand that. Just because you watch the reading doesn't mean it's yours, okay? It doesn't. If it resonates, then it is. If it doesn't, then it's not, okay? This is for all signs. This is what I'm picking up on today for whenever, whenever it resonates, okay? The tower reversed. Death. Six of cups reversed. Two of wands reversed. Queen of wands reversed. Somebody's been sacrificing themselves uh, or sacrificing their own needs, not taking care of themselves, lack of confidence, lack of energy, lack of, lack of growth, um, sitting on the fence, unable to move forward, um, clinging to the past. All right, with that Six of Cups reversed, somebody's been clinging to the past. And I think avoiding a new beginning because this is avoiding, the, the tower reversed is avoiding, with this death card, there's a new beginning, avoiding it. Lack of confidence to take that step forward. The past is, is haunting them. A lot of discontent here. Indecisiveness and fear of change. I am going to zoom this in. Fear of the unknown, staying put, staying where you're at because you don't have confidence. You don't have confidence, fearing disaster. I fear that if I, if I make this move, if I take this step forward, that it will end in disaster. Page of Cups, closing yourself off emotionally, not following your heart. Somebody isn't following their heart. Two of Swords reversed. I see the truth. I know what I need to do, but I lack the confidence to do it. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Three of, three of Pentacles reversed. And the Four of Wands reversed. What, what, what? We have like one upright card here. And it's the Death card. Wow. We're going to zoom this in. You can't really see it very well. I need to hire my, my lens up. But I'm not going to. Um, because then somebody will say, that's unprofessional. So, whatever. Alright, we'll leave it at this. Um... Somebody is afraid to start this new journey, to have this new beginning. They're afraid. They're, they're afraid of, of what's in front of them. Uh, the fear of the unknown is definitely taking over here. Somebody it lacks faith and they lack trust, okay, in their own decisions. Somebody lacks faith and trust in their own ability to make a decision. Therefore, they're not getting the stability and the security that they want because they fear that it will cause an argument or they fear that it will cause some sort of feud. And there has been some arguments in the past with whatever this is. There has, obviously, there has been. And now they fear, they fear that they won't be appreciated or they won't be accepted. Therefore, 
you know, they're living in a space of unhappiness and discontent. We have the Four of Wands reversed and the Two of Wands reversed. These are both discontent. And it all has to do with self-esteem and self-confidence. I lack the confidence to, to step outside of my comfort zone. I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. So somebody has decided to close themselves off because they fear they fear of being let down. They fear uh they fear um that someone's gonna turn them away. They do. They feel that someone is going to turn them away and that's what's what's holding them back. Fear. There's lack of strength with the Queen of Wands reverse. The Queen of Wands is very strong upright. I lack the strength to go find my happiness. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. There is with the death card. There's an ending that leads to a new beginning. But somebody is just, they're reminiscing, they're, they're thinking about it, they, they see the truth, they're no longer ignoring the truth, they know they want this new beginning, but they are, are too afraid. They're too afraid to take action. So it feels as though they've closed themselves off. I can't offer this love because I, I'm, I fear that it will end in disaster for me. You know, it will break my heart. It will really hurt. Um, this Two of Swords reversed. This is about um, delaying, postponing, postponing this new beginning. You're delaying this new beginning. That you want. Perhaps, I mean, this, this could be with somebody from your past. It could be. Or you're delaying this new beginning because the memories of the past, fighting, feuds, discontentment, insecurities, the past insecurities that you hold within you are causing fears. So much so that you don't dare to have a new beginning with anybody, period. The memories of the past are holding you back. Either way, memories of the past are holding you back from having a new beginning, okay? Um, somebody is going through a period of emotional turmoil. It's the truth with the Two of Swords reversed. It's really, really causing a lot of inner conflict in regards to where you want to go in the future, the steps that you need to take. There's a lot of mental turmoil here. Um... King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is about being responsible. This is about being practical. This is about getting grounded and, and being real. Okay, it's, this, this is about doing the mature thing. You know, doing what's going to make you feel stable and secure. It's about going after what you want because that's what the King of Pentacles does. The Fool. Reversed. Fear of, of being taken advantage of. This is also restlessness. And there is restlessness. There's restlessness over these memories of the past. Okay? Restlessness over these memories of the past... Temperance. Maybe you have to make some compromises. Maybe you have to do whatever you have to do to bring back balance and peace and harmony to your life. This is Sagittarius. Okay. This is about purpose. Everything happens for a reason. Somebody has gone through some sort of renewal, healing.
and now, I mean, we have compromises here and compromises here. There's, you know, a need to make some compromises in regards to what is going to make you happy. Because this Four of Wands is discontent. Somebody isn't following their heart. And that is the damn truth here. It is. Somebody isn't following their heart. They don't want to make compromises, but they know they need to make some compromises to bring back balance and harmony and peace to their life. Knight of Swords. Have no fear. Don't let fear hold you back. Take action. Quickly. Fast action. Move forward. Communicate. Communicate. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have all the signs here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Scorpio up there. We have Scorpio a couple times. We have, we have them all. We have all the signs here. So it really doesn't matter who you're dealing with. But the fact of the matter is, is there's an opportunity for a new beginning here in which somebody is unable to move forward, whether this is in love or in life. Because they have this fear of the unknown. The memories of the past are haunting them, stalling them from stepping into their new chapter, their new path. They're stalling it. Living in this period of discontent and restlessness because they lack confidence. They lack self-esteem. Self they lack self-worth. They lack, lack courage and strength to go after what makes them happy. There's an opportunity for love here. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. There's a raw opportunity for new love or a reconciliation. There's an opportunity for happiness and emotional contentment. But somebody has to have faith and trust and step outside of their fears and take swift, fast action. Face your fears. There's an opportunity for a new beginning. Somebody has went through a transformation with the temperance card and the death card. They're both upright, thank God. Somebody has went through a transformation. They're not the same person that they used to be. And it's time to, to be practical and be responsible and do the right thing. There's an opportunity for love here. Have you been have your dreams been vivid at this time? Your dreams have probably been vi very vivid. Your dreams are probably telling you something. What did you dream about last night? What did you dream about the night before? What what are your daydreams telling you? What are you thinking about because those are messages. So your dreams are absolutely telling you something at this time. They're trying to lead you down this new path. Your dreams are trying to lead you down this new path. So whatever it is you've been dreaming about is the direction that you need to head in. We're going to get one oracle card for today. There, there could be almost like a resurrection, a resurrection of, of a romance that somebody is, is really scared of. They're really scared. Or this could be a new beginning, period. Just any new beginning. Somebody is going through a transformation. They are. They're evolving. Oh my gosh. We just talked about, that was a message. I don't even know where, see I listen. I listen. Collaborative dreaming. I'm telling you what, your dreams have been telling you something. I don't know about you, but my dreams are over the top. Over the top. It's crazy. Um, I, I'm thinking that, you know, somebody else is absolutely having to, uh, is having these dreams as well. I'm going to go ahead and um, read this one for you, okay?
Your dreams are certainly telling you which direction to go in. Collaborative dreaming. Your heart is big enough to dream not only for yourself, but for a new humanity. Imagine a world that is healed with respect, understanding, and with community that fosters life. Even your dreams that relate to you alone will contribute positively to the greater good because that is the nature of your heart. Your heart naturally and intelligently cooperates in a grand scheme of loving creativity, working to heal the hearts of the world. The heart creates win-win situations that benefits the individual and the collective. You are being asked to honor your growing desire to co-create with the conscious, like-minded people. Your collaborative dreaming is a heart-inspired win-win. That's funny. It's the truth. Listen, your dreams are what your heart wants. This oracle is guiding you to stay in your integrity, honor what you feel, and remember, remember, so anyway, somebody's, somebody has an opportunity for a new beginning here, and their dreams are telling them which way to go, so anyway, pay attention to your dreams the next couple of days because they're guiding you, alright? And that is what I have for today. Talk to you later.